Is there such a thing as too many cooks? I mean, yes, there is, but not here. Welcome back to the Skilled Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Today we're taking a first look, run, and review of the new Bamboo Labs H2D. This is a new 3D printer from the people at Bamboo Labs, and they have completely rewritten everything you thought you knew about 3D printing and what a machine like this could be capable of. I'm very excited. I love Bamboo Labs. I have since the very beginning. I have been running my X1 Carbon for years. It is a fantastic machine. It's not just fast, it's accurate. And it has so many capabilities. But they have taken everything they learned from the X1C and all of the other printers they've made in this time and elevated it to an entirely different level with the H2D. This machine is fantastic and it will replace a lot of other machines you might already have or have considered buying in the future. I'll explain as we get into it, but let's start with the most important thing. This is a 3D printer. That's the end of the review. <laughs> it's actually a really excellent 3D printer because they've added a whole bunch of new features. First of all, build volume. It is now up to and capable of 350 millimeters by 325 by 325. So it's a much larger build volume than the X1 Carbon. The X1 Carbon is a big machine. 256 cubed is a, is a, that's a big build volume, but this one takes it to a whole new level, allowing you to print a lot larger format items. It's always nice to be able to build larger format things with fewer build plate sessions. It's if you can do it in one, why wouldn't you? It's fantastic. Having that ability to create larger items is going to be very helpful in our hobby as well. Instead of doing something like this on multiple build plates, you could probably cut that down to two, which is fantastic. I love having that extra volume and it will make for a lot of easier prints going forward. It's also a much faster machine than the X1 Carbon. Um, I'm not much of a numbers guy, but let's just say it's way faster. <laughs> if you want more specificity, that's a word, uh, I'll make sure to put a link down below so you can learn all about all the functions of the H2D in extreme detail. In addition to its speed, they're also offering a dual extrusion system. So now you've got two nozzles on one print head. So you can have, this is where things get wild, you can have two printer filaments, say PLA on one extruder and TPU on another. So you can actually print things using both of those materials virtually at the same time. Uh, you'll do a few layers of PLA, then you'll add some TPU if you want to have a bit of flexibility. So if you want to have like a, uh, you know, like a grip on a, a radio, a transmitter, do I have one? Rubberized grip on your actual build, you'd be able to do that all at once. And because it's a dual extrusion system, you're not wasting filament with tool head changes all the time. That was one of the things about the X1 Carbon and multicolor prints that I didn't love was that there was so much waste. Every time you needed to change colors, you needed to purge the nozzle, poop out a little bit of filament. Then you had to prime the nozzle again. So you were creating a prime tower of all this extra filament that wasn't ever going to be used. It was a huge waste. The H2D does away with most of that. If you're using the proper modes, you can get that waste down to almost nil for a multi-color, multi-filament print. It's pretty amazing technology. And the way that they've got that nozzle extrusion system moving back and forth, it's a patented system. It's really cool to see it all function together. It's quite magical. There's even a little cover that goes over the nozzle that's not being used, so it's not spitting a little bit of filament into your pristine print. Very cool system. They've also carried over from other printers that they've made since the X1 Carbon to allow for a much quicker nozzle change. So if you wanted to do anything from 0.2 all the way up to 0.8 in terms of the diameter of the nozzle, you can do that. And it's a very quick system. It's all very automated. You go through a menu system to tell it what nozzle you've inserted. It's fantastic. Very like the clip system to just stick that new nozzle in and then put the silicone cover over it. Minutes, if that, 
to switch nozzles. It's fantastic. One final note on those extruder nozzles, they are hardened steel now, no more brass available at all, I don't think. So any of your uh, more abrasive filaments that have carbon fiber uh, infused in them, not going to be a problem for these nozzles either. Having the ability to print in multiple colors and multiple filament types at the same time is wild. Uh, most of that is thanks in part to the AMS-2, which is a new AMS system, um, um, uh, automatic multi-system, multi-filament system, I think is what they that stands for. Uh, it also now functions as well as a drying unit, so it'll keep your filament nice and dry using electromagnets to move vents open and closed. It's a very trick system. Also, if there is a piece of filament stuck in one of the PTFE tubes in your AMS system, you can just get at them now. You don't have to unscrew the whole system to take it apart to clean that stuff out. You can just open it up and there they are, right there. Very nice. If you like things that are multifunction like the H2D, you might also want to consider the channel membership where there are all sorts of multifunctional things <laughs> like tips and tricks, behind the scenes videos, travel logs, all sorts of videos. You'll even get to see videos like this one before everybody else. So that might be something you're interested in. It's a great little community that we've started there. And my thanks to all of these ding-dongs for making it possible. Perhaps you'd like to be a gold level ding-dong. There will be a link down below in case you'd like to join up. and Join this channel membership. Be a part of that wonderful community of like-minded individuals. All right, Bamboo Labs also created their own filament drying uh, AMS, which is the AMS HT, which is just a single drying uh, spool filament system, uh, but it is a true AMS in that you can print directly into the printer into one of the nozzles from it. The drying and heating feature uh, is more about actually uh, prepping proper professional level filaments that need to be dried before they get printed, and it does help in the quality and the uh, reliability of those filaments. So you do want to have something like that if you're using things like uh, PTGHF or PAHT, uh, any of the more high-end filaments, you definitely want to dry them prior to use, and having that HT system is great. Uh, it rotates the filament, uh, heats it, and dries it, and uh, it's very efficient and a very nice addition to the already amazing AMS. So multicolor, multi-filament, dual extrusion nozzles, higher speed, bigger build volume, what's not to like? It still has a lot of the AI features for uh, spaghetti detection, first layer problem detection. Uh, it's all, you know, very similar to what was in the, the uh, X1 Carbon, uh, but they've kind of ramped it up a notch in terms of the reliability of those systems. As well, they've also added a few other cameras that will help with other features that I'll talk about here in a few minutes. It's also a much more accurate printer this time around as well. They've added an optional vision encoder plate, which will help also increase the reliability and the accuracy of the prints with a special build plate that measures everything and does a bunch of tests and figures out where things need to be exactly when they need to be there and uh, really increases the accuracy. If you are in a uh, prototyping sort of facility or you're working on projects that are uh, that demand high uh, accuracy, you'll definitely want to get this build plate so you can calibrate the printer even beyond its already excellent calibration abilities. Uh, and of course, because it is from Bamboo Labs, it does work best with bamboo filament. That's just how it goes. They've done all of the calibrating to their filaments in their slicer. And it's an excellent slicer program too, which has also gotten better and a lot more intuitive for the H2D and the multiple filaments and the extruders and different build plates and the volume of it. Uh, it really is suited very nicely to this machine and they've added a lot more functionality over the years to make this a really excellent slicer. It rivals any other slicer I've ever used. One other big advantage over the X1C is the way that this printer actually positions itself on a table. Now, of course, you need to have a nice, rigid, strong table for a printer of this size because it moves so quickly. That print head is moving around very rapidly and there's a lot of additional vibration and motion that's kind of built into it when it's moving at that pace. The X1 Carbon had just flat feet and you needed a really strong, stable surface. What they've done with the H2D is they've kind of made these sort of rubberized, floating, dampering kind of feet. And 
the printer will actually kind of jiggle. It's almost like jello when it's printing. It's a really interesting thing to watch, but it compensates for that in the software and has really overall, it's reduced the amount of noise that the printer makes. And it also in some weird way, even though it's moving around more, it's actually moving around less, if that makes any sense. Pretty cool to see it in, in, in action. Now, if we stopped there, if we said, okay, fantastic, what an amazing printer. Where do I buy one? <laughs> you would be happy. And I'm definitely happy too. Great printer, decent price. But what if we were to add other features, such as laser cutting and engraving, or plotting and creating your own decals and stickers and masks? Now we're talking. These are new features that are being added into an existing system. And there's something to be said for an all-in-one unit. Typically, a device that is a multi-function unit usually focuses its attention on one thing really good and the other things just okay. I think this is one of the first instances where I've used a machine where I felt like all three features were top-level features that they've put a lot of time and effort into. And I mean, the backbone of the machine is really what makes those other two features work so well you are now also going to be able to use this machine to cut with a laser, 10 watt or 40 watt. You can also use this machine to create masks, cut into paper, use it like a cricket or a silhouette. It all has these functionalities and they're all options of course, but they really do add to the overall value and use of the machine. The laser uh, works very well. Um, I think part of the reason it works so well is the software. Bamboo's created an entirely different piece of software called Bamboo Suite, which still communicates over Wi-Fi with the machine. Uh, it has this bird's eye view. So it actually shows you the material on the build plate so you can position things properly and know exactly where the laser is going to cut. It shows in real time where your cuts are going to be so you can make sure you're going to use the best use of that material and not waste a bunch of it. It's awesome. I, the, that was the one difference that I had when I was using the Creality Falcon. I just sort of had to guess. I, I, you can sort of loosely position where it's going to be and it'll kind of give you an idea of where it's going to go. But this is a lot more real time and it just, it just works. It's so good. A lot of people have uh, been concerned about the amount of smoke and debris that comes off of a laser when it cuts. And yes, those are real things. That's something that happens. But Bamboo has a really excellent a standalone air purifying unit uh, that can be attached to the H2D to allow for use in a small room, much like the small room that I work out of. It's really important to be able to get that uh, smoke and debris out of the machine. And uh, the way this machine works is fantastic. It's able to bring clean air in and use it, use it, uh, use a really sophisticated number of fans to push that air into the filter system and uh, expel it out the window. I would recommend still venting out a window. Um, it's just better. But uh, even in my tests, there was no smoke in my room. There was not a lot of odor. It all just kind of was self-contained. It's a really great system. Something that I was really surprised by. The accuracy of the laser is really excellent. Uh, you can see I just did a quick little test here, engraving and cutting, uh, and it did a really excellent job. The software is really easy to use, and I can see myself using this. The one disadvantage to having a laser and a printer all in the same machine is that that debris can build up over time. You will have to do some maintenance to keep everything clean, but I didn't notice that my prints smelled like burnt wood. So I think it does a pretty decent job. Also, keep in mind, this is a laser as a complement, not a laser as a standalone. So if you're the sort of maker that needs to use a laser all the time, then I would not suggest a machine like this. There is a little bit of time between tool changes and calibrating in between that will kind of take up a little bit of extra time and manual labor. Uh, but really when it's only being used every so often, not really that big of a deal. If you're the sort of professional that needs to do things all the time, all at once, all three types of things, then this probably isn't the machine for you. But if you're an enthusiast like me and you want to use it every so often, I think it's an excellent choice. The cutting module 
I found to be really accurate. I'm way more accurate and way faster than my Cricut. So I won't be using my Cricut anymore. That whole unit is going to be donated to someone else that needs it uh, because this has definitely replaced it. It's fantastic. I can cut all my masks. I can make my own stickers. Uh, I, and because it has that bird's eye view and uh, calibration system, you could actually die cut your own stickers too. Print them out on your laser printer in color add it to the build plate, show exactly where you need to do those die cuts, and then it'll do it for you. It's a really amazing system. Bamboo offers a lot of already made materials for both the laser and the cutting uh, component. Uh, of course, those are gonna work best because this is a bamboo machine, but it does work with standard or cal vinyl, just like I've been using for years to cut all my masks when I do paintings such as this. It's able to accurately measure the thickness of materials too, so you won't be cutting through your material and the cutting mat. Of course, there is a cutting mat that you add to the build plate, and with the laser, there is a laser cutting bed uh, to allow for um, all kinds of different materials. There's even uh, magnetized material, so you can actually put metal on there and it'll stay in place. Awesome. Uh, and uh, doesn't hurt the build plate underneath. It really is a fully integrated system that actually works. Are there too many cooks? No. The exact right number of cooks. It's a jack of all trades and a master of all as well. I'm really impressed with this machine and I think it's going to get a lot of use in my hobby. It's certainly something to consider if you're looking to get a new larger format printer that can do multiple that can do multiple materials and multiple colors all at once using their AMS system. I don't think that you could really find a better printer out there right now. And if you needed a laser and you needed to replace a silhouette or a Cricut machine as well, it's all right here all in one. Are there any negatives? It's big. So yes, that's a huge negative. I couldn't put it in my current workshop. I had to build out into the next room to have room for it. I also am running a separate circuit uh, because it is quite power hungry. Um, it uh, actually causes the uh, fluorescent lights in the other room to flicker a little bit. So uh, we're gonna put it on its own circuit so it, uh, it can have all the power it needs. The additional air purifying system does take up a lot of space as well. That's something to consider. You also need to have it near a window so you can expel any of that additional um, uh, exhaust out the back. I guess the tool change between going from printing to cutting to laser, the, it's a bit of time and it has to recalibrate each time, uh, but uh, it's not really that bad. Um, otherwise, I can't really think of any real negatives. Uh, I think they've done an excellent job. I know that they had some negative feedback uh, based around some of their uh, policies with the software and how things are going to change for people who are in printer farms, but I think they've resolved all of that now. At least they're listening to their customer base and uh, offering really great products. I think this is going to be a winner. It's certainly expensive. Uh, it's not a cheap machine, especially when you start adding 40 watt lasers to them. Uh, but uh, I think if you're looking to get into being a creator and you're doing a lot of these. It's not a cheap machine. I think that's also a fairly, you know, I, I mean, it's not a cheap machine, but I, I don't think it's massively expensive for what you're getting. I think there's a lot of innovation here. It's a really good combination of three machines that I actually want to use. And uh, it's just such a nice, tightly integrated package that it's hard not to take a good, solid look at. If you're interested in one of these, there will be a link down below. My thanks, of course, to Bamboo Labs for sending me the H2D and all of the features and all of the accessories that came with. Uh, it really is a spectacular machine that's going to simplify and speed up my workflow for this hobby. And I think that's sort of the main benefit. If it's not making things better, then it's not good. So there you go, I think that's gonna do it. That's my first look, run and review of the new Bamboo Labs H2D with the AMS-2 and AMS-HT and 10 watt, 40 watt laser and cutting machine. It really does do it all. It's a mouthful too. Uh, it's been a really excellent experience so far and I look forward to thousands of hours more with it. That's gonna do it though. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>